All right. What we have here is a light switch for a 1985 300ZX. As you can see here, we've got a little toggle switch to switch from off to marker. And you can put on your regular lights, high beams, permanent, temporary, flashing. So in mine, it was keeping the headlights on all the time, killing the battery. And this did nothing. So I went online and I found a video that describes uh, these little pins here. They do lift up from the pads they're on. And they recommend cleaning the contacts in between. That's a good idea. I, I recommend that as well. The issue was, well, they said they bend them all to create contact. So you can see in there, on these ones here, they have like a little contact underneath and up at the top that they do. It recommends to to bend these to make these contact all the time. Now, that's not correct at all. Uh, I learned through a little bit of trial and error by pulling it apart. If you look in here, you're going to see a little arm that goes back and forth as you move this. So There you go. So in that position, if I'm not mistaken, that is lights on correct. So what this does is it pushes this little, right in here is a little pad, right about here. This little pad here. Here's one here. There's one underneath here as well. What that does is, it, depending on the position here, it's got a little plastic nipple inside there. And that nipple pushes up to either break contact or it hits an opening, sorry, to break contact or it hits an opening to allow contact. So on this side over here, we have our high beam ones, high beams here for left and right, and regular lights left and right. So if we throw our high beams on here, it'll create a contact between That's correct. So you have to have your lights in the on position as well as in the high beam position. My apologies. But now if we check here, there's no play here. Those are making contact, which tells me my high beams are working, which they have been working since the very beginning. So this side was not an issue. The issue was this side, when you pop it out of high beam mode and you threw it into light mode, they were touching. You pop it out of light mode, and they would stay touching. So you see now, I fixed it since then. So if you watch this connector and you turn this to light mode, see, it connects. Then you have your markers, so it disconnects. And it stays disconnected. It did move a little bit there, but it does stay disconnected. If you, uh, if you check it with yourself there, you'll, you'll notice it stays, uh, stays away if you've adjusted it properly. So basically, the person isn't incorrect that you have to bend these to touch. The issue is when do you bend them to touch. So if we throw this into light mode, and we throw it into high beam, you want to bend these at that point to connect for high beam. Pop it out of high beam, now you want these to connect. And that's basically it. Once these connect to the right setting, and these connect to the right setting, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.